Hey guys, it's Joe from Mattress Clarity. Today I'm going to be doing another review. We have the Lisa mattress. I'm gonna be running this mattress through a number of tests. Gonna be telling you what I like about it, what I don't like about it. By the end of the video, you're gonna know if this is the right fit for you, so stay tuned. Give a quick overview here, but before we do that, if you have any specific questions or you'd like for me to give you a personal recommendation, all you have to do is leave a comment below. So Lisa launched in 2014. They now have two different mattresses and a bunch of different accessories available. They've had a lot of success. Uh, I'm now doing an updated review. I've reviewed this mattress before, and this is gonna be an update to give you my new thoughts. Let's talk about the construction of the Lisa mattress, starting with the cover. I really like this cover a lot. It's soft. It's thin, it has a very nice feel to it. It's one of my favorite covers as far as mattresses in this price range. Coming to the mattress, we have 10 inches in total. We have six inches of uh, support polyfoam, which is pretty standard, I would say, amongst um, mattresses of this type. Then we have two inches of memory foam and then two inches of a proprietary latex-like foam called a Vena foam. So you can see the memory foam, kind of the standard slow-reacting memory foam. It's gonna give you very good pressure relief. Uh, but this top layer is very quick to respond to pressure. So you can see exactly what that looks like. Um, so you won't get the feeling of getting stuck that you get with other memory foam mattresses because the memory foam is right there rather than on top. Uh, you won't get the feeling of sleeping hot either because this top uh, layer of foam has these little holes in it that allows air to flow through it. So you're gonna get good pressure relief. Um, I would stay tuned until later in the video. We're actually gonna have this pressure relief test that's gonna be very cool. I would definitely stick around for that. Uh, so overall, it's a very nice uh, balanced foam feel that I think a lot of people will like. Let's talk about firmness and feel. As far as firmness is concerned, I'm gonna put this mattress at about a six and a half, seven out of 10 with 10 being the firmest. I've actually polled a lot of people, gotten their opinions, and they all come in about the same range. You can push your hand in initially, there's some softness, but as soon as you get down an inch or two, you feel that firmness. So overall, it's kind of a medium firmness, maybe a little bit firmer than that average, uh, six and a half out of seven. As far as the feel is concerned, it's a nice kind of balanced foam feel. Uh, there's memory foam in it, but you can get good pressure relief without the feeling of getting stuck. It's easy to move around. It does have some bounce with that Avenima foam on top, and I'll show you. I've got this across ball here. You can see that there is some bounce to it, so it'll be easy to move around and you get some bounce. So overall, it's a pretty nice kind of balanced foam feel. I'm gonna talk through how I feel in different sleeping positions. I'm gonna start on my back. First thing I notice is my hips sink in, but, but not too much. Overall, I feel like this is a pretty good match for me. It feels very supportive. I feel the, the foam kind of reaching up into that, that space in my lower back. Uh, pretty good match for me overall. I'm gonna go on my side now. And I feel like there's pretty good pressure relief. Um, there's that four inches of comfort material. There's a little bit of firmness, but overall it relieves pressure pretty well for me. I would say if you are much lighter weight than I am, then you might feel like it's a little bit too firm, but for most people it should be pretty good on your side. I'm gonna go on to my, uh, my stomach now. Uh, it's a pretty good match for me there actually as well. I feel like it's firm enough. Um, I don't feel like there's any sort of hammocking effect uh, when I'm on my stomach. I think if you are much heavier than I am, you might want something a little bit firmer, but overall it's a pretty good match for me. I'm gonna give you a visual representation of where you might feel pressure on this mattress. I've got a pressure map here. I'm gonna lie down on my back, side, and stomach, and then you're gonna see anywhere from blue, no pressure, all the way up to red for high pressure. So let's get started. Hey guys, Martin here to offer a different perspective. Uh, Joe is 5'9", 160. I am 6'7", 230. Definitely a different body type. Something you should consider when you're looking at a mattress is your body type and size. Uh, so Joe felt this was a 6.5 or a 7 in terms of firmness out of 10. Um, I felt it was more like a 7.5, a little bit firmer for me. Um, on my side, felt nice pressure relief, but I felt a little bit of firmness on my shoulder. Still 
very comfortable. Um, on my stomach, I definitely felt my hips sinking in a little bit. I bowed in a little bit there. I think I needed a little bit more firmness. Um, and then on my back though, I felt really nice support overall. So if you're my size and a back sleeper, this could be a good choice for you. Do you sleep with a partner? If you do, you may want to consider a term we call motion isolation. Basically, if your partner moves over there, uh, creates a disturbance, will you feel that motion on your side of the bed? So to test that, we have a glass here. I'm gonna create a little disturbance by it. Create some motion here. And you can see that the glass isn't moving too much. So if you sleep with a partner, this could be a good option for you. If you sleep with a partner or you sometimes find yourself sleeping towards the edge of the bed, you'll wanna consider edge support. So I'm on the edge here. You can see that the foam is collapsing a little bit but if I wanna tie my shoes or something like that, I can, I'm not gonna be thrown off the bed. I'm gonna lie down towards the very edge of the bed here. And similarly, I don't feel like I'm gonna fall off the bed, so I think that I could sleep towards the edge and the edge board is pretty good. Let's talk through some of the pros or who I think this mattress might be a good fit for. If you're looking for something that's right in that kind of medium firmness range, I think you're gonna find this to be a good fit. Uh, most people I talk to, and just me personally, think it's about like a six and a half, seven out of 10, just kind of right in the middle as far as firmness is concerned. Um, also, I think this is good for people who sleep in multiple positions. So for me, as long as you're not on the far ends of the weight spectrum, I think they do a very good job of making it a good fit for like no matter which sleeping position you're on. So if you switch positions at night, this could be a good fit for you. And also if you're looking for a foam feel, but you're worried about sleeping hot or the feeling of getting stuck that you get with memory foam, they've done a very nice job of addressing those issues as well. Let's go over some potential cons or who I think this may not be the best fit for. I think if you're really lightweight and you just sleep on your side, you may think that this is a little bit firm. Uh, if you're a bit heavier as well and you just sleep on your stomach, you might think it's a little bit too soft and you might want to get something a little bit firmer. Uh, if you want a, a true memory foam feel where you really just slowly sink into the mattress, uh, you may want to look elsewhere. That's not exactly what you get here. And if you've had success with traditional spring mattresses, the feel is, is, a, is a bit different here. So that's just something to note as well. Wanted to give you some additional information about the Lisa mattress and the company in general. Number one, they have financing available. So you can make smaller monthly payments rather than one lump sum, which is really great if you're cash crunched. They also have free shipping and returns and uh, Lisa will give you a 100 night risk-free trial, uh, test this out. And uh, they donate one mattress for every 10 mattresses that are sold, which is really nice. And this mattress is made in the USA. So just to wrap up, I think there's a lot to like about the Lisa mattress and it's gonna be a good fit for a lot of people. I think they've done a very good job of making this a good match for as many types of sleepers as possible. As long as you're not on the extreme ends of the weight spectrum, uh, I think it's a really good match for really any sleeping position, has a very nice balanced foam feel. So I think it's gonna be a very good fit for a lot of people. Um, so that's basically it. If you're just getting started with your research, I would encourage you to subscribe. Uh, check us out on mattressclarity.com. Um, you can check out all of our reviews if you simply Google mattress clarity plus reviews. And definitely let me know if you have any questions.